All right, how's it going, everyone? So I want to share with you all um, one of my Discord users is kind of asking me, like, how can you develop your own tutorial uh, widget, right? I don't know if you've seen widgets like this. I think there's one called like Highlighter or something or Showcase, where basically there's different DOM elements on your page and you want to walk the user through how you can use your application. So in this case, um, what I want or what my user wanted help with, what my friend wanted help with was like, how do you build this in React, right? So I wanted to show him how I did it and kind of walk him through the code so he has a better understanding. So we have this, this widget. Um, and when I click next, it takes me to the next, you know, step in the tutorial where I can kind of explain something. And this is like the modal that pops up underneath the widget where we can put whatever text that we want, want here. Right now I'm just displaying one, but this could be whatever you want. And you can go back and forth. And as you click through these different things, it actually scrolls you to the different places in your DOM. So how do you actually implement this? Um, if you don't know how, I'm gonna try to walk you through the code that I have. This isn't gonna be a coding session. This is just gonna be walking you through some code. So hopefully that's good enough for you guys to understand. At the end of the day, reading code is probably more important than writing the code. So I have a highlighter and this has a majority of all the stuff that we're gonna need. And I think it would make more sense to kind of look at this with a top-down perspective. So let's look at the, the uh, configuration pan that I have. And what I have here is I believe there's a bunch of highlight step components, right? So I think this is called a higher order component that takes in some children. And I'm just kind of adding some additional functionality around whatever this is that I pass in, right? And I do allow it to pass in an order prop that takes in whatever numeric you want. So like zero, one, and two. And that's how we are determining how the application is jumping from different components. Notice that launch bot at the very bottom is a one. So if I go to the very bottom, there's probably a launch bot somewhere. Uh, it might be on a different page. Let's just go ahead and check that out real quick. Oh, okay, I guess it's this one. All right, so launch bot has an order of one, and then we have the bot launcher here, order of zero, and then we have this take profit of order of two. So that is like how you can use the component that I wrote. So how does this actually work? And it's a little bit more confusing to talk about. Um, I do want to mention that I think inside of app, I think I do have like a highlighter thing that's wrapping all this maybe. Maybe it's not app, maybe it's here. Okay, so if we go to the actual page, I probably should have started on this file to begin with. We have a highlighter manager. So this is wrapping the entire page or the entire DOM tree to basically allow the highlight step to access some context that this thing is defining. So let's start the highlight manager and then I'll show you the highlight step. So the highlight manager is, you know, where a lot of the logic is kind of stored. So if you look at this, this is basically keeping track of the current step that we are in uh, for the tutorial phase or the steps. We also kind of keep track of all the different steps, right? So I'll kind of talk about this in a second. And then we have some helper booleans just to know if there's like more steps or if there's no more previous steps. And that was used for disabling the next button and disabling the previous button based on what index you're at. So these should be, you know, pretty straightforward to understand. And then we have a next and a previous button. When you click next, it's going to increment this by one. And then, you know, if you have the ability to go even further, it allows you to do it. Otherwise it doesn't. Same with the previous. So hopefully you kind of understand that. Just add by one, subtract by one. Um, the other things that are kind of important to understand is that we have an add step function and a remove step function. The add step function is actually going to be used later on to push refs onto a top level array. Okay, so again, steps is like an array of refs. I probably should make this ref instead of any, but I suck at TypeScript. Um, and we'll see how this is used in just a second. But if you look here, we have a use effect. And whenever the current step index is changing, we basically find that step based on the step index, and then we scroll to view. Okay, so this highlight manager thing is kind of taking care of tracking what current thing you're at, and then scrolling the entire page to that component. So let's kind of look at how we're using this highlighter manager. Notice that I just have some context here, and I'm wrapping all the children with some context. So now everywhere in my application, we have access to all of these methods and we're going to see how that's used 
down below in the highlight step. So if you remember, we have highlight step that is wrapping some, some children, right? So it's a higher order component that's wrapping some children. Actually, I don't know that you can call this a higher order component. It's just a component. But this takes in some children and also takes in an order property. And when this component first starts, we make a reference. And we're going to put that reference on the actual element that, you know, is going to wrap the children. So we know how to scroll to that child. So we have some wraps we put here. And then underneath that, we have a modal, right? So every single time we do a highlighter step, we actually have like a little modal that's just there in the DOM that's hidden. Is this the best approach? I don't know. We could probably use like portals or use something else. But this was the easiest thing that came to my mom, came to my mind. And sometimes the easiest thing that comes to your mind is the best solution. Uh, sometimes it's not. So you can play around with that and try to feel, figure out there's a more elegant way to not have this code be duplicated everywhere you have a highlighter step. But I think it gives you more flexibility because then you can like customize every single step individually or something. Maybe not, not now that I think about it. But anyway, when this highlighter step mounts onto the page, we are going to basically use that context. Remember, we stored some methods on that context called add step, which was here. And that basically takes in a ref and pushes it into this steps array. Uh, I should say this is not a ref. It's an object that has a ref and an order. So when this component mounts, like I was saying, we push in an order and a ref directly into that array, which means that that thing is going to be stored at a higher level. Um, inside the manager and then when the component unmounts we basically just remove that step that we added so if you look at remove step it's just a function that goes through and just removes whatever step that had the exact same order that we're trying to unmount um, and now that I think about it yeah and again it doesn't matter like the order of your your array like these could all be randomized because each one has an individual order inside the step and as we increment the step index or decrement it, we just go and we find that order. So that, I think that's kind of like the, the gist of how this tutorial thing is working. Um, and I mean, like you could obviously expand upon this and make it more robust and make it more elegant. Uh, in this situation, my, my friend can't actually use existing solutions. They had to create their own for some reason. I don't know why working in different companies, they have different business requirements. I'm not going to question that, but this is how you kind of do it. This is one way you can do it. And I hope this code helps you understand how I did it. So if you like watching this, give me a thumbs up, leave this comment below, subscribe, press the bell icon. And like always, be sure to join my discord. If you want to talk to me directly or ask other people in my community questions, if you're stuck at coding, you know, you're trying to figure something out in react. Go ahead, join my Discord and ask us some questions. We'll try to help you out if we get some time. All right, well, that's about it. Have a good day and happy coding.